minutes. Amen. Turning our pray pains into praises. Amen. So now, 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 Paul had this thorn in the flesh, right? But God was teaching him something. You see, see, our God deals in exchange. It's always an exchange. When God gives you something, you give him something. And vice versa. It's always a, a two-way communication. Amen. <laughs> So look, he says, says uh, to, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garden of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. God turns our brokenness into beauty. Have you felt broken lately? You might look in the mirror and see a broken person. God looks in the mirror and sees beauty. You may feel like you're the smallest worm on the earth and God looks at you and sees an eagle. You may be thinking that you're the least one that should be doing anything for God and God's saying you're the one I want the most. Let's just tell you something about Paul. Paul was the number one enemy of the church. Paul was hated by everybody and even his other religious people hated him. He walked around and he caused many people, many lives to be to be done away with. As a matter of fact, he would get people to lie. He would get some people and put them under such burden of pain that they would lie on somebody else so he could get a verdict. So he could go and tear up their houses, tear up everything, and kill them. Because of Paul, there was Christians that were put in the arena, and their arms were tied to one chair, and their arms tied to another chair, and the, and the horses would be, be, be set, go, and pull those Christians apart. Because of Paul, there was guys that would go in the arena all by themselves, Christians, and have to fight four or five or six hungry lions. And you know how that is done. Because of all this, Paul was known, even when he got saved, God's own special, uh, special army, the, the apostles, they wanted nothing to do with him. Barnabas had to come in and take him. The apostles didn't want anything to do because they did not trust this man. This had been a bad, bad dude. Matter of fact, I don't think anybody, he says he was the worst of sinners. I don't think anybody in here can match what he did. Amen. I don't. We can't match what did Jesus did on the cross, and we can't match what Paul did when he was in charge and in, in large. And so, so God takes your brokenness and he makes beauty out of it. But I guarantee you there's going to be a time where you're going to look back and say, God, thank you so much. Because of this, I, have, I feel relieved. I've got God's presence. 